Good evening and welcome to evening prayer for Wednesday the 19th of May. So we're continuing in the season between Ascension and Pentecost and we're praying with Christians around the world for his kingdom to come. And I came across this prayer by the, the Anglican Archbishop of Jerusalem, who in the midst of this conflict um, raised this prayer. And this is the prayer that we're going to begin with this evening. Almighty and everlasting God, our days are in your hands. We lift up all those in the Holy Land who are victims of violence and injustice, that you might empower your church to bring healing to the wounded, relief to the suffering, and comfort to those who mourn. We pray also that you would soften the hearts of all those involved in the recent conflicts, that they would be led to work for justice and lasting peace in the land where your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, first came to bring hope and abundant life to all people. These things we ask in his holy name. Amen. And th these are themes that we continue to pray for, for Israel, but also for so many other parts of the world, parts of our communities, and even parts of our own lives, when we pray for healing and comfort and hope and abundant life. So we come into his presence this evening, for he knows, for he is with us. We're on page 284 in the Daily Prayer Book and our readings for today, Psalm 46. I know we had Psalm 46 this morning as well, but it is the Psalm that's been um, marked out for evening prayer and it is such a beautiful Psalm. I don't think we could read it too many times. And our New Testament reading is taken from Luke chapter eight. So let's begin. Oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe your people with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To you be glory and praise forever. Raised to your right hand on high, the ascended Christ shows the prince of love and bestows on us the gifts of grace. As your spirit renews the face of the earth, May we bring forth the fruit of the Spirit and reveal your glory in all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And so we turn to our psalm, which is Psalm 46. And if you're in the daily prayer book, we're on page 715. God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved and though the mountains tremble in the heart of the sea, though the waters rage and swell and though the mountains quake at the towering seas. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, Therefore shall she not be removed. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations are in uproar and the kingdoms are shaken. But God utters his voice and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord. What destruction he has wrought upon the earth. He makes wars to seize in all the world. He shatters the bow and snaps the spear and burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. 
I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. And so we pray, God of Jacob, when the earth shakes and the nations are in uproar, speak and let the storm be still through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And yes, the nations have been in uproar, haven't they? And as, as communities, as individuals, we have known the waters raging and swelling. We have known the mountains trembling, the earth being moved. And we are called, we are called into his presence to be still and know that he is God. Let's turn to our New Testament reading, which is taken from Luke chapter 8, reading from verse 16 to verse 25. And we see more of, of Jesus calming the storm. If you're in the church Bibles, we're on page 64. No one, after lighting a lamp, hides it under a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, nor is anything secret that will not become known and come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen. For to those who have, more will be given. And from those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him but they could not reach him because of the crowd. And he was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to see you. But he said to them, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. One day, he got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out. And while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A gale swept down on the lake and the boat was filling with water and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased and there was a calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed and said to one another, who then is this, that he commands even the winds and the water and they obey him. So here again, we see the wind and the raging waves. And every time we think of God as our heavenly father and as our closest friend and as someone who journeys alongside us, Sometimes we need the reminder that, that he is Lord of all creation, that he created the world and it came into being, and that he, he has control over the elements as well. He's not a dictator, but he has the whole world in his hands. So let's turn back to our daily prayer book and we're on page 287 for the responsory. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom, you have made them all. You renew the face of the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. And so let's join in the Magnificat. How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. 
Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. And so we turn now to a time of prayer and intercession. And let's take some time to bring to God those, those raging waters, the wind that billows in, in different parts of the world, but also in different parts of our own lives. And let's take some time to, to remember the five people that we're praying for um, through this, this prayer movement of thy kingdom come. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that even though you are God, God of the universe, God who brought everything into being, whose spirit hovered over the waters, and Father, that not just did you bring this, this beautiful world into being, with all that we can enjoy of your creation. And not just did you choose to create those people that would make a significant impact to Father on history. When we think of world leaders, we think of movers and shakers. And Father, we think of those, those names that we hear about but Father, that you chose to make each one of us, that you chose to, to bring each one of us into being. Father, thank you that you come alongside us even in the storms that we face. So Father, I pray that you will set our perspective this evening. If we are struggling with certain things and if we've got our eyes on the storm, Father, I pray that you will lift our eyes. You will lift our eyes to the one, to the one who created, to the one who redeems, to the one who sustains, to the one who delivers. And Father, that this evening, we will be still and know that you are God. And Father, that you will teach us, Father, to continue to stand with our brothers and sisters all across the world. And so, Father, we pray with the Archbishop of Jerusalem. We ask for, for healing. We ask for peace from the unrest of Father in, in the Holy Land. Father, we ask for the nations that continue to be in uproar because of the pandemic. We remember India. We remember Brazil and Colombia and so many other nations of Father that are still struggling to, 
to bring the virus under control, but are struggling or farther with the healthcare provision for their people. Father, we ask that your peace, O oh Father, will invade these lands. Father, we ask for our nation. And Father, as the theme for today, we pray for economic well-being. Father, we pray for all of those who are out of work, who are wondering where they're going to find their next job. But Father, also for those who are wondering about where they're going to find their next meal. Father, open our eyes. Father, come and heal. Father, come and still the storm. And Father, we want to pray for sustenance for those who continue to labor. Father, for, for all those who are longing for a break. Father, I pray that you will come and minister to each one of us. And Father, we want to pray for our community. Father, we continue to pray for healing and for strength and for your presence, for all those who are unwell. We remember Peter Coney, Virgil, Kirsty, M, Wynne Jones, Linda's mum, Joan. And Father, we also want to continue to pray for Jen's family. John T and the children. And Father, we want to bring to you at this time all of the other people on our hearts, those who are unwell and those who are mourning. Father, we pray that you will be the one who is their refuge and strength. Even though the, the earth for them has moved, even though the mountains have been shaken, that you will be their dwelling place. Father, we want to pray for the five people you have placed on our hearts for thy kingdom come. Let's name them um, in his presence right now. Father, we ask that they will know more of your presence. We ask, O oh Father, that they will know that you are God and that you are their God who has created them, who loves them, who is their refuge and strength. And Father, this evening, just want to bring our homes, our families, our own lives to you. Father, we ask for, for your presence and we ask for your peace. We ask, O oh Father, that we will know that you are in the boat with us. Even as the storms continue around us and within us. Thank you, Father, that we can come to you. Thank you, Father, that we can cling to you and that you call us your own. Hear our prayer for we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's continue to, to enjoy this time in his presence with the next song, which is called Still.
So let's turn to our collect for this evening. O oh God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Savior Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. It is such a a privilege to be able to pause in God's presence like this and to know that we come together as a community. So let's continue to, to look to him, to lift our eyes above the storm and just to be still and know that he is God. God bless you.